The LG B4 is the entry-level model and is bound to be lacking some of the C4's key features. But if the B4 is significantly cheaper than the C4, should it be named the best OLED TV in 2024? To find the answer to the question, we will compare these two OLED models side by side in this video, so watch till the end. And I would request you to hit that like and subscribe button. This will motivate me to bring you more videos like these. Thanks. The entry-level LG B4 is an upgrade on the LG B3, which has been rated highly in 2023 for its excellent picture quality, great gaming performance, and competitive price. Given these strengths, the LG B4 can be a standout choice for those seeking a high-quality OLED TV in 2024 without breaking the bank. The LG C4 is a mid-range TV and a successor to the LG C3. It is also known as a picture-perfect TV for movies and gaming. Following in the footsteps of the C3, the LG C4 will get a new generation of the Alpha 9 AI processor with brighter images. Now let's dive into the details. As you can see, these TVs share many similarities. The C4 boasts a newer processor to help it benefit from improved AI features, such as up to 11.1.2 surround sound mixing via AI Sound Pro. However, the B4 also has some AI tech of its own to make the differences not so stark, with 9.1.2 channel mixing. Neither TV has the super bright MLA panel we now see on the G series, but the C4 will of course have an OLED EVO panel for improved brightness and vibrancy levels over the B4's standard OLED. Another thing to consider, especially for PC gamers, is that the C4's refresh rate has been boosted up to 144Hz. The extra 24Hz isn't a massive amount in the grand scheme of things, but it's a notable improvement. The B4 closes the gap in connectivity, as it now features four full bandwidth HDMI 2.1 ports, just like the C4. If you were to look at these two TVs, it would be hard to really pick out many differences straight away. The thin frame flat OLED panel is a mutual design point between them and both feature a pedestal stand. Some design changes to the B4, such as the new 48-inch SKU, offer some more versatility if 55-inch or 65-inch TVs are a tad too big for you. To add to the specs, both of these TVs can be considered fully capable HDMI 2.1 TVs now that the B4 offers 2.1 in all four of its HDMI ports rather than just two. If you're plugging in multiple consoles like the Xbox Series X and PS5 alongside your soundbar and whatever else you have that benefits from HDMI 2.1, then this is ideal. We now have a clear idea of the pricing of both the LG B4 and C4, as they are now listed on the LG store. The 42-inch and 83-inch models are not included in the B4 series, so we cannot compare those model prices from the C4 series. But apart from those models, the other models have quite different price points. As you can see, the C series tends to have a price tag on the higher side. In practice though, prices can vary between retailers and during sales periods. Aspects that definitely made last-gen C3 a more appealing option for many consumers. In terms of gaming, both the LG B4 and LG C4 are fantastic for the job. If you're looking for a gaming TV, a low response time, and a high 120Hz refresh rate are two key specs you want to target, so you're covered no matter what here. The C4, however, does offer a higher 144Hz though this is only relevant for PC gaming, as current-gen games consoles cap out at 4K at 120Hz. You may be surprised to hear that many people use an LG C-Series TV as a gaming monitor alternative, especially the smaller 42-inch model, which is fairly desktop-friendly in terms of size. Both the TVs are great for 4K gaming and offer suitable VRR functionality to minimize screen tearing while pushing the limits of performance. OLED TVs in general are top tier for gaming thanks to their near instant response time and stunning visuals. The LG C4 will look marginally nicer and brighter thanks to its newer OLED EVO panel, but the B4 doesn't fall too far behind at all. The LG B4 has received some important changes to make it much closer to the C4 than we saw in the last generation. 
The addition of a new size and a newer HDMI standard across the board means that it looks to be one of the best budget HDMI 2.1 TVs of the year. We expect the C-Series to remain as popular as ever, but we wouldn't be surprised to see the B4 making waves in 2024. Overall, the LG C4 is the better TV, though it is more expensive. If you're looking for a more entry-level option that doesn't compromise too much on the specs, I'd have to recommend the B4 as per its improvements. I will suggest you always keep track of the pricing of these two OLED TVs. If it doesn't cost too much extra to opt for the C4, it will be well worth the upgrade. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments. If you like to see more videos like these, then click on the video shown on the screen. Also, do hit that like and subscribe button for more updates. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.